Damon and Joe here in the middle of the woods. Yes, that is right. We are signing up to do a survival course. You know that man, Bear Grylls, who like sleeps inside of camels and whatnot? When I told my dad I was coming to this, he was more excited about Bear Grylls than like me if doing If you survive. This. Yeah. So 20th Century Fox emailed us and they're like, there's a new opportunity for a movie about a plane crash called Mountain Between Us. The whole premise of the movie is can you survive with a stranger? This is a real life story that happened. A plane crash literally happened here. Two people were strangers and they needed to survive. Yeah, it's like if I knew I was gonna be with you, I know I'd be dying. So like, I'm happy that, <laughs> hey! So they're like in here going over all the things we need to know for the survival. Missing out on the survival. Lexi? You gotta be safe, you gotta stay protected. Here in the wilderness. <clears throat> I'm here in the wilderness because Joe and I have been split up, and so I've been paired with my girl Tara. That's my partner. Tara on TV, Instagram. I'm learning so much from this guy. I'm such a fan, Damon. <laughs> Joe's saying hi way up there. <laughs> wow, Damon, way to survive. <clears throat> okay, no one saw this. I'm nervous, you know? Well, you gotta do it. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Goodbye. Oh, I never remember what the first one is. All that gym time. I want to do that again. I might have to join your team. He's like, nope. He's like, you're not hired. <laughs> I know, I know two acronyms that are important when thinking about survival. Stop. Sit. Well, my partner's sitting over there. I'm eating right now. You think she's thinking. Oh, you observe. Oh, no. <laughs> you say, oh, no, I got to observe. And then the P is you plan. You P plan is go poop. So Damon and I have officially split up, um, which is great, because that means we finally get to meet some new people. Chris. Looking at my partner, this is it. We're gonna survive together. I don't like being Damon's partner. I feel like he misses you and he's kind of ignoring me. Tara, you're great Joe. I'm the hoe, Damon and hoe. <laughs> this, this is the instructor if you can't tell. Let's go, let's go! Let's go, let's go! Just me going home, everybody. You got a fern mattress, you got a freaking waterproof roof, you got ferns on top for insulation. What more do you need? Shelter score, can you give us a one to 10? I'd probably rate you uh, seven. Wow! Okay. Pretty good though. Not bad. I see the space already for the hot tub. This is a home in comparison to what Damon has. My guess is his ain't so pretty. <laughs> It took about four hours, but we did finish. We are making the fern bed. We're ma are you kidding? We have a floor, we're making a fern bed. <laughs> okay guys, like the shelter, it's called a lean-to. Brilliant, it's gonna keep you dry tonight. Also, we have some chapstick here, because my lips get a little crusty, so I had that on, <laughs> you know, in my pocket. Chapstick has Vaseline in it. Vaseline helps a fire go longer. Cotton balls, well, any, any paper, obviously, will start a fire, but if you smear those cotton balls or that paper in Vaseline or chapstick, Fire's gonna last longer. Uh -oh. You have to cook food, you're gonna have to boil water. Seriously? Yep. Oh, oh yeah. Yes, that's hot. Baby, yes. Let's get it. Bottoms Cheers. up. Yeah. It's actually pretty good. I just ate a <laughs> oh no, you can see this! <laughs> you are looking at a fish eye eater, ladies and gentlemen. If that's not the look of savagery, I don't know what is. I ate a fish eye. I ate some fish, I have a shelter, we made a fire, I am winning. Sorry, I had to take a little wee wee break. Hopefully Tara holds him down, cause without me that boy is lost. I just feel like Joe thinks that I can't do things without her, which is not the truth. Lost without you. Here's what I need to say, if you ever find yourself in this situation, number one, go to the plane and try to salvage everything. That means the cotton from the seats, that means you can take out the cotton from kids' toys and use that cotton to build fires. Also, you can use anything for multiple purposes. Scenario one. A condom. No, I just didn't have this with me, okay? This was found in the plane, everybody, and you can use this to go fill up water at the river and then use it to transport it back to your camp. Or you can use it for something else. Okay, so yes, we are at the campground, finally, but we are still roughing it out. Like, I'm, my feet are roughing, roughing it out as the red wine's making its way over here. Come on, guys. This is 100% a hard no for me. I'm not a meat eater though. You're I'm a vegetarian. Now, all of a sudden you're vegan. I'm, vegan. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm vegan. Hey, hey that's a great decision. Be too loud. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Are they, this are, is like, this is better than like Chris 
crispy onions. Got what? Onions. No. Jeez, bro. I did not believe this. Joe's over here eating crickets, fish eye. The fish eye is now currently here. The larva is here. I think I'm experiencing indigestion for my fish eye and larva. Good morning, everybody. I think it's about 6 a.m. This is how they come and wake us up. How did you sleep? I was totally good in there. I think it's because we're used to like sleeping in a hospital. I'm sometimes. totally fine. Like, have I put lotion on my face? No. Have I brushed my teeth? No. Like, oh, I'm I did good those to go. <laughs> okay, let me go do those. Bye. You guys, all I gotta say, keyword. Apparently, Larva give a little gas. What's on the menu for breakfast? Well, you know, just some rib shaped barbecue flavor. What do you want? You want some chicken pesto pasta? That doesn't sound too bad. Chicken breast filet. These are MREs. You gotta put hot water in them and then they're a meal ready to go. Oh my god, this is just making the stomach bomb worse and worse. Feel defeated. And that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Now you know a little bit of what Kate Winslet and Idris Elba went to film The Mountain Between Us. I'm gonna go watch it in theaters. We're you talking really should. fast, you guys, because our camera's about to end. They already done. Don't October 6th. Mountain Between Us. October 6th. Go and they were like, eat the fish eye, guys. You have to eat the fish eye. So then we were like, okay, let's eat the fish eye. The minute that it's halfway down my throat, they're like, did you really eat it? <laughs> this is me. I'm like, oh, so we're just gonna keep going? Oh, well, that's fine. Okay, I'm ready. So why don't we just go there? Everybody's like, why aren't you nervous? I'm like, well, what are you talking about? I'm gonna get it over with.